The best teams in the world and the best coaches are the ones that say, all right, we have to identify what are the strengths of our players. So when you were describing Jamar Butler and how tough and what a defender and, and, and yet uh, he was the point guard from before, but yet it was time. Mike Conley was a better point guard. And so we have to put him in a different position so he can be successful. And then the player, so from the coaching standpoint, like we have to assess the talent and then begin to intentionally every day shape the culture of what we want. And then to Greg's point, the players involved can either opt in or opt out. And when we begin to opt in on elite teams and, and in organizations, people start opting in, which means I'm able to allow myself into a new role. I'm willing to learn a new skill for the betterment of the team. And I'm going to, and, and the players help then shape that culture as well. That that ecosystem of coaching intentionally and players then setting that culture takes teams from average teams to elite teams. Mm -hmm.